at the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Love is perfection. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth. Leader Olumba Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 7. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Golden text, First John chapter 2 verse 17. And the world passeth away, and the lost thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Brethren, quote, Brethren, beloved, the above texts constitute our gospel, which is part of the teachings of the new kingdom. Therefore, your deepest concentration is required in order that you may know the difference between these teachings and the doctrines of the world. I would not overlabor you since these preaching have already been delivered. So this would only serve as a reminder. It has been disclosed to you that love is paramount. You are saved whenever you exhibit the qualities of love. According to the scriptures quoted above, love endures all happenings and accepts all situations. Therefore, if you abide in love, you can exhibit all the qualities of love. Beloved, whoever has love most certainly must be pure in heart. It is difficult to deceive a person who possesses love. A man who has abundant love would never believe you if you tell him that he is haunted by ghosts or chased by witches. Even if you threaten that it would result in his death, he would not be worried since the spirit of love would repel those dynamic entities from him. Brethren, it is an error to believe that somebody has been prevented from serving God. The issue simply is, the person does not have the urge or desire to serve God. Love is the perfection of the will of God. Let our first lesson be re-examined. First lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 7. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vanteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, Thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, 
hope at all things, endure at all things. Salvation is derived from practicing love. Beloved, you have re-examined what is contained in the above text. You have been told what constitutes love. There would be no more predicament if everybody seeks to possess these qualities. More so, if somebody had, if everybody had love, all the inhabitants of the earth would have known and reverenced God. However, all those who have received this love would have everlasting life, everlasting joy and salvation. Let our golden text be re-examined. Golden text, 1 John chapter 2, verse 17. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. God's paths are eternal. Beloved, you have re-examined these scriptures. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Brethren, you are enjoined to be very mindful of your thoughts and deeds, because if you are carried away by the mundane things, you shall certainly perish with them. But if you abide by the will of God, you shall live eternally. All the pleasures and glories of this world are temporary. Soon they would cease to be, but those who abide in God shall abide till eternity. Brethren, I do not intend to be tedious with you. Let he who have ears to hear, let him hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.